Come on, get up. Morning, Brian. Stephen, are you aware that you've voluntarily embarked upon a PhD in physics? I'm a cosmologist. What's that? I study the marriage of space and time. The perfect couple. I thought Eddie Redmayne portrayed me very well. At times, I thought he was me. He has an interesting physicality that actually connects him to the young Stephen Hawking. And then, of course, he had the enormous challenge of internalizing the illness. It's called motor neuron disease. When I was prepping for this part, one of the most riveting parts of it was that I didn't know that he had been entirely healthy when he was younger. I met extraordinary specialists and I would take photographs of Stephen and they would analyze them and we would work out how the disease manifested itself in him. The next stage for me was I worked with this phenomenal choreographer and she and I worked out how to track that into my body. This is temporary. What Eddie had to do was to really understand and internalize these four different stages of illness. Able-bodied, and then on one stick, on two sticks, going into the wheelchair, losing his voice. You don't realize what lies ahead. This is going to be a very heavy defeat. Unfortunately, when you shoot a film, you generally don't shoot it chronologically. James tried desperately to make that work in the schedule, but it was never going to work. So it was about me working out in the process of preparing how I was going to be able to jump into different physicalities on the same day. First day, we shot exteriors in Cambridge. And in the morning, I was going to be playing Stephen Young and Healthy. It was the scene in which we spin round. And then at lunchtime, I was going to be on two walking sticks. And then in the afternoon, I was going to be in the wheelchair. It's extraordinary, the, the detail of Eddie's performance. It's just been incredible. He's meticulous, passionate. His just total immersion in, in playing Stephen is remarkable. We're going to fight this illness together. I think Eddie's commitment will have a big emotional impact. Well done, Doctor. Everything about this job was so inspiring but terrifying that you had just to sort of leap, leap off the cliff. Eddie's greatest achievement was to get down so specifically the disabilities that were required and then project this emotional life of Stephen out of that disability. There should be no boundary to human endeavor. While there is life, there is hope.